Hello, my name's Catherine and welcome back to the Casper YouTube channel. <laughs> video I'm going to be installing Fusion 360 on my Mac with the M1 chip. Okay so as we can see on my screen here I've got a MacBook Pro 13 inch uh, 2020 edition with an M1 chip with 8 gig of memory. I spoke to my contract manager and um, this email has now come in um, so I've got access to Fusion 360 which is exactly what I wanted so if we scroll down now sign in to get started. So I've just clicked the button that says sign in to get started um, and that takes me to my Autodesk account. I've logged in and then on the left hand side I click all products and services. This is where your product should be assigned so if you don't see it make sure you speak to your contract manager or um, CAD spec if you've got your software through us and we can help you out. So I'm on this page now um, and I can have a look at view all included items so I click on that and to make things a lot easier because there's a lot in the PDMC as you know um, I'll type into the search bar fusion so I'll just type that in now and there we go. So I'm going to download now onto my Mac. Okay, so Fusion 360 is downloaded. I'm going to click on the DMG file and start the install. There we go. So we click install Autodesk Fusion 360. Double click on that. And I'm pressing the word open on here. So it's actually popping up on my bar at the bottom. And we're 2% on install. So I'll go and grab a brew. Okay, so I'm back, fresh drink, and it's all downloaded and installed on my laptop. So I'm gonna click the icon at the bottom in the taskbar, and I'm gonna open Fusion 360 up now. Okay, so now I'm presented with this screen. It's asking me to sign in, and this is the one that's associated with your Autodesk account. So please don't get confused with any other email addresses because it will not work. So I'm gonna pop it in now, and my password and click sign in. So then you're presented with a screen where it will ask you to improve your Fusion 360 experience. Um, that's something you can look at later um, when you're doing your install, but for now I'm just gonna click got it. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm presented with my Fusion 360 screen. It was easy as that, the install and the download didn't take long at all. So if you are a Mac user, hopefully this has helped you with the download. Um, please do reach out to us if you are still getting issues. We also have a video on how to install AutoCAD on your Mac and you can find that here. But for now, please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.